Welcome back everyone to Web Gaming Central. I will say this, going right in, that what I did, <laughs> once again, is to record the video and I did not have my sound on. So, yeah, I'm actually talking on this video, but you'll never hear that because I didn't have it set up right. Well, anyway, we are in episode number 22. And um, I sort of know what's going to happen. So I'm going to try to act as surprised as I can possibly sound. What I will say is that this game uh, is going very well for me. I've learned quite a bit. But we do have a very difficult mission coming up right now. And we do have pretty much our A squad. So we're going to go right into Operation Blessed Death. What an awesome mission name uh but we're gonna grab i think we grab leandra leanna isa and for this mission and um i'm not gonna spoil anything i'm going to just commentate over and hope you guys enjoy now unfortunately i did this for this video and the next video because i sort of recorded them back to back so you will get the same thing in the next video and we should be back to our normal operation uh, after that so we did get the new sword fusion blade that is so we're gonna equip all ours with that um, of course ghost is back I'm not I can't remember if she was in the last mission or not but we have ghost back folks and pretty much our a squad we're missing axis that's the only one we're missing for this one but um, let's see I'm pretty much just as you can see equip equipping uh, my soldiers uh, we do have the new gear. One of our guys, Arden here, has the new rifle, which is absolutely awesome. Actually, and Griffin there, I think. Absolutely. So let's go. We're gonna. I, I know what happens, but it's still a pretty awesome mission, and the next one is even better, in my opinion. So look forward to that one. ready to deploy. So let's deploy. It's funny because, you know, I'm learning a lot as I play, um, even though we're on commander uh, difficulty, I think is very close to, uh, uh, what is the other one, legend, well, but of course not the same. So let's jump in here, Resistance Haven, Independence Rock, Eastern Europe. And let me know about the sound. Um, it was interesting is that this won't be a, a very good test because what I want to test this against is when I'm actually speaking while playing. But I pretty much tweaked the volume levels on five. this video manually. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Okay, so this is a retaliation mission, so we're gonna get, we're gonna have to save civilians while we fend off the enemies, of course, the aliens. Um, and what's good about this mission, though, is that a lot of the civilians were close to the front of the map. As you can see, we have two there. And I'm going to just simply stick to what I normally do. We, uh, Olar's here has concealment. The other five of us do not. Um, so we're going to move forward with Issa here. And again, as I normally do in missions like this. Well, I didn't do too much of that this time. Even though this is not a timed mission, as we've said many times before, you're still sort of against the clock because pretty much every turn, uh, the aliens do attack a civilian. So we we These see three chrysalids right off the bat them. here, and, and I don't like chrysalids. Really size we had to worry about. I do not like chrysalids. Um, they're like very interesting because in this game, it's even worse than before, if you ask me. If they kill one of your soldiers, or anyone else for that matter, and after having poisoned them, you definitely have your hands full because they create a cocoon. And that, co that cocoon gestates, I think, for about one turn. And then you get your first chrysalid birth. Then the next turn, you get your second chrysalid birth. And if I'm not mistaken, on this difficulty level, you only get two. On Legend, you get three. And that's turn after turn after turn. So, 
I'm just doing my normal thing here. I uh, setting our guys up. We know they're gonna pretty much bum rush us, so we really want to have all of our guys ready to roll to counteract that. Again, it's three chrysalids, so it can get really nasty quickly. So we're off the bat. Griffin's gonna go first with a miss. Issa, uh, another miss. So not a great start. And they can go really far. Really far. Of course, I put a bullet, and whoever else just went, put one. And then ghosts coming through with six damage. Now, what is interesting is that they have shielding. You would think these creatures, but their, their skin, I guess, if you want to call it that, is very resistant. And here we go with the civilians. Of course, we're gonna hear about every single civilian death right about now. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. <laughs> we have to stop this. Never fails. So 12. One's bit in the dust. Of course, now it's very crucial that I get my guys in optimal positioning because these chrysalids really are no joke. But Ghost, it's just so beautiful. She has three grenades. And these grenades, I think it's because of her, they deal massive damage. So Ghost is really a godsend in this mission. Let's see. Ooh, just can't beat that. <laughs> Good stuff, Ghost. Okay, so now it's my turn. We just have one left. And I think. We're about to find out. Yeah. We put that one to bed. Okay. Oh, and it's an interesting part coming up. Let's see. And I really hate <laughs> that you didn't catch the commentary that I initially did on this video. Because it was pretty, in my opinion. I don't. And I'm not tooting my own horn, but it was more reactionary, which is natural. And I think it lended itself really well to uh, this video, but mistakes can be made, clearly. So now I'm a little apprehensive to move forward too fast, because we know there's chrysalids on this map, and they are very unpredictable. They're very unpredictable. And actually, we're going to find that out even more on this mission. Stepping off. So I have all, except for one, all of my heavy hitters on this on this uh, mission. And you're going to see exactly how powerful our team is. And I just want to be able to keep us together on every mission. It's a big challenge for me, keeping our guys healthy. But, you know, it is what it is. So, they've taken out another two civilians. I'm going to try to move up here, I think, yeah, and rescue this civilian here. And again, like I mentioned before, we have about all six civilians up front here, which I was kind of okay, happy about. So we didn't have to go chasing the enemy They've all around the map. The here. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. That chrysalid, they burrow now. And it's almost this. nothing you can do about that unless you're already in uh, Overwatch. So we took some damage there. Of course, I'm going to take this opportunity to melt its face. <laughs> that armor's tough. Okay. <clears throat> Confirmed. Okay. I'm in a pretty good position now. Scanning. Not bad. Uh, what is that room? 
Okay. So I think I'm just gonna move up, get in better position to get a better shot. And we're gonna move these on the other side of this uh, fence. At this point for me, it's about just getting the most out of each soldier with their respective abilities. We grazed, but we it was a free shot, so I think that was a free shot. I could be wrong. No, I think that was our actual shot. Seems doable. But we're gonna bring Arden up here. I do believe I take the shot, yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. You know that was good. <laughs> that we do. And I love Arden's ability set. And of course Griffin's our healer. He's our primary healer. I didn't even use the um scanners on this particular mission. So I'm thinking here that I'm healing him. I'm actually putting aid protocol. I selected the wrong one. So I think we're just going to bring yeah, put her in Overwatch. I think yeah, more civilian deaths. Ouchies. We're losing civilians yeah. left and right, Commander. We, know. we need to get these people out of here. <laughs> oh boy. Come on. Alright. So of course here I'm thinking these chrysalids can be coming from anywhere at any time. So it's probably best to sort of first heal Olars. Heal them up. But this is the first mission we've dealt with chrysalis. So, in this game. So, again, my strategy is sort of <laughs> let's not die. <laughs> okay. I, th I think I'm just going to ultimately put everybody in Make Overwatch. Oh, this part. Oh, not quite. Almost. <laughs> So we saved two so far. Yeah. And again, I'm just like, where are these chrysalids gonna come from? Because they can burrow, like I said, so you never know. So it's all about optimal, optimal positioning. I'm gonna put them behind here. I think on the right hand side. Moving yeah. to target location. I'm on it. Okay, now all ours. But again, what I like to do, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, is just to cycle through each player, not just go in order, so to speak. Make sure I scan the entire situation from the perspective of each. Soldier, so we can maximize no problem, boss. Each soldier. So, right now, again, stand in cover. Now, this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move all the way up because I'm thinking let's save some more civilians because you know they're getting wiped out. So, and at the same time, this guy I will be able to move back because I still have my second move, but then this happened. So on a cool. I'm like, <laughs> you kidding me, right? <laughs> I mean, I was shocked. I was like, no way. Okay, so now what you're gonna see also I just let you see it. <laughs> Got a burrow here. Hello. More chrysalis. And then he soaks up our overwatch shot. But at the end of the day, 
not gonna matter too much. I mean, soaks up all Overwatch drops. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, and then this glitch happened because he just teleports right over here. <laughs> and then this guy just the weirdest shot ever. But don't worry, he's gonna teleport back. And then another civilian gets his face repainted. Uh, right. He's gonna teleport. Look at that. He's on fire, though. We'll take it. And he's gonna do a little dance here. <laughs> Bugs for the win. Now, yeah, he's gonna be. Now, see, we be shooting right now. So we soaked up all the Overwatch shots, for better or worse. But luckily, you know, we don't take any damage right then. So obviously, Operation, take this big, nasty, melting piece of Candle X down. But Chrysalid is obviously equally as important. So, do I take this shot? I don't think so. No. Just evaluating each soldier's angle. As I usually do. Again, we want to look at percentages. See who has the best shot on who. And go in the most optimal direction. Issa does a great job. A really great job. And then now it's my turn. But, again, it's about numbers here. What is that? Uh, 85? 80, 97. That's awesome. Couldn't pass that up. And... Griffin, you come through. You come through. I'm not angry about that at all. Okay, so Olar's turn. Just want to make sure, hey, just melt this thing's face. Oh, then again, I had him use his blade. Now, only four. I was ticked off about that. Not too happy. But of course, I bring in our dear ghost here and boy does she ever come through good stuff once again just very clutch <clears throat> and you see essentially our entire team is just, just a few points from flawless a lot of good numbers at the end um, of this one so you know with the whole thing about <laughs> commentating over the video after I've done it versus commentating while I play, which I prefer every day of the week. Well, first of all, we uncover some more enemies here. Got ourselves Avent. Um, let's see, how do I go about this? First order of business is get... I think, is that Griffin? That's Arden. Let's get Arden out of the way. However, it's a tricky situation because I think... What did I do here? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, yeah, I threw the Mimic Beacon, okay? I'm thinking, first of all, I made a mistake. I didn't mean to throw it there. I literally pressed the button too fast. So I threw it there where you just saw, which is the first mistake. But the second mistake is probably should have moved him. But in the end, the idea here for me was to take their attention away for one move. Well, good grace. But to take their attention away from me. But it didn't work with this guy. Because apparently he couldn't see the Mimic Beacon. Or he was being totally rebellious to the coding of the game. And decided to shoot me anyway. So Arden took some damage. Which was totally unexpected. I was upset. And I was very scared right here. Because I'm thinking it's going to take a shot on me too. But it took a shot on the Mimic Beacon. So I have an opportunity. I think. To get, yeah, I do. To get Arden out of there. I don't think. Am I gonna use kills? Yeah, I'm still gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. So as they move, I'll be able to take a shot on every soldier that moves. 
which is a wonderful ability. Now, Ghost, I'm trying to get you. I think I'm going to move you right there, too. To get a better shot with your grenade. Now, those grenades are godsend, especially in this mission. Um, as you see. No, right. I just moved you up the tad. And then we're going to lay this right comfortably between those two. And boy, oh boy. These things do more damage now. But for whatever reason, they do even more damage with you, Ghost. I forgot why that is, but there was a specific reason um, that you do more damage with these grenades. Which makes you quite priceless <laughs> on our missions. So, let's see. Okay, now do I take this shot? Looks like I'm shooting at myself here, but I'm really shooting at the admin officer behind him. thinking grenade but it's a little too far so I do take the shot can't remember if I hit don't I don't hit but we have two three people left and I think what I did here well for one I got Arden out of there I can handle that. to save the civilian first of all that's what I wanted to do and then I wanted to as a result, at this point, I think I'm going to throw a grenade. Or, what did I do? Do I take a shot? No, actually, okay, I go to Olars, and then now I have Issa and Olars. And I have to decide what's the best course of action. Do I throw another Mimic Beacon? Because she has one, and that's exactly what I do, I think. Because Arden's in trouble, and if he takes any hits, we're in trouble. So I believe I hold off here. I take whatever shot. Oh, I use, okay, yes, I use that, the capacitor discharge. And I think we wipe these two out. I think it's such a godsend. I prefer to use it on more than two enemies at a time. I love it when they bunch up and I have that because it's very powerful. So we wipe those two out. Now all we have left is the um, chrysalid. So I think I'm going to save Issa for last because, yeah, I'm going to try this with Olars. And he, he normally doesn't ever disappoint, but he did not crit there. So I think I'm left with no option either to shoot with Issa, and I have a free shot. I think she does come through here. And she does. So I didn't even need it, which is great. Impressed yet? So as I was saying before, like, our squad is, like, pretty awesome. They come through most, more often than not. But of course we uncover them. They walk right, or patrol right into our path. And of course we have a shield bearer. And then of course the ever, you know, efficient stun lancer. I don't like those guys. Okay. What am I thinking here? Well, I'm thinking go back into concealment mode. Why? I can't tell you right now. Yawning here. <laughs> it's so funny because I just recorded these videos earlier in this, this particular day. And so I'm like, you know, I got to do the voiceovers for this. So let me just do it. And it's like their butt crack of midnight. <laughs> no coffee, you know, no caffeine, nothing, no sugar, just straight sleepiness. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> but I love this game so much. And it's like, it is, when I did the first one, when I played XCOM Enemy Unknown, I was so amazed and so pleasantly surprised with that game and I just fell instantly in love with it so I did the let's play back then and man I didn't think this was gonna you know go that far above it but man I am definitely like addicted to this one and it's great because I'm getting better uh, I'm even looking forward to the next let's play where I do um, 
uh, Iron Man, the legend Iron Man. I don't know how ready I am for that, but I will follow through with it. And if we just die and lose the game, that's fine. I'll just finish through that. Let's play. I'll take a hit on the ego. <laughs> it's cool with me. But I want to get Arden here out of out of the, out of like the line of fire here. He's right in the line of fire. These guys, and I was like, interesting. Interestingly enough, I do take a shot with him here with uh, combat protocol. I guess in my head, I'm like, let's get some damage here. And we do, but it does leave my guy in a very interesting position. But, of course, we've dispatched the Mimic Beacon. So here, in my head, I'm like, please aim at that thing this time. And I think they do. But, of course, Ghost is going to take a shot or two. Landing. Man, very clutch in this mission. Very. And then he decides to run again. No dice this time. Target still up. Of course, he takes a shot on the mini beacon. I'm so grateful. <laughs> He's coming right up for our attack. We missed that shot there. So to see. Missed. Now is our turn to maximize here because we're out of mimic beacons. So we have to connect. We have to take them out. So Olars is close. Um, Ghost is close. Issa has a shot. Of course I do, but here is exactly where I'm like, let's get me out or Arden out of dangers path I think yeah we're gonna take this free shot I don't even know if I hit no no dice adjusting aim yeah adjusting aim alright okay so I have some pretty good shots here with my main rifle and I do not recall what I choose Okay, so we're gonna go with the grenade. And I'm thinking, because I'm not, yes, actually, yes. And this is why I told you guys, these grenades now are gonna be pretty crucial and I'm gonna be using these a lot because they do a lot of damage, a lot more damage than they did before. And that's because we got that upgrade. So that upgrade goes toward this too. The, um, what do you call it? Plasma? Yeah, they are plasma grenades now. So they naturally deal two more damage. So initially all grenades are three damage. You get that upgrade, it goes a five damage. Now there's something that Ghost has, I believe. Or I might have researched something in the one of those facilities that gives us even more damage. But the reason why I think it's just ghosts is because I tried with axes and I think I tried with another one, another grenadier, and it wasn't the same damage. It was five. So I think ghosts, you have something going on that gives you more damage on those grenades. So whiskey, I think I bring him back because I think the go the shield wear he retreated. Or he's about to. So I was just sort of spoiled that for you guys. <laughs> but in my head here, I'm thinking, let's get Arden out of the way. Because they're going to take a shot. And chances are, they're going to target him. He's already low. He's, what, like seven or eight hit points left? Not a situation I wanted. And because he went out of sight... Order's confirmed. Moving okay, now that must be the next turn. But we can see, slightly see him, but you're going to see what happens in a second here. I'm thinking he's going to come forward, but the AI is pretty smart too. They're like, okay, everybody's in Overwatch, let's not go forward. So he backs out, he says, you know, let's stick with the our mission, which is to take out these civilians, and boy oh boy, some face-melting business. 
But now it's time for us clearly hitting my head. I'm thinking, okay, we have to pursue this guy. It's so let's into just. A massacre out there, Commander. And then of course we that got all kinds of pressure up. from command. <laughs> so I'm like, let's just move forward. So here I'm gonna I think. Oh, Lars, yeah, we're gonna just press him forward. On the move. And honestly, this guy has been pretty clutch for the majority of the missions he's been in. And he has a good shot, but we're not gonna explore that just yet. I think right here we're just gonna get a few more people, starting with Ghost. Just to move up a tad. I don't think she can see even there, so she's not gonna be able to take a shot. We're gonna move uh, Griffin up. I do think you get a. Sh you get a no, you don't. You do not. But ironically enough, Issa can see that's from squad site. But she doesn't have the greatest shot, but she has a good shot. I, I don't think. I don't know she does hit good stuff, and she shreds two armor. It hit the plate. Which helps us immensely. So I'm thinking, now we need to move me up. I don't know how much of a shot I would have. But... Why did I move there? I'm not entirely sure. I could have camped right next to Issa there, looking back. And probably had a shot there. But I'm going to take this one. Because we have to kill him. If he kills anybody else, he might be out of luck. But we nail that one. All ours is good. It depends on how far he is from the target. But he normally lands it, man. Now we're not out of the woods just yet. We got another one of these nasty sticks of butter to deal with <clears throat> um <laughs> I got implacable going to not use that I'm pretty sure I don't Fire shots. yeah we're just going into overwatch because that big nasty thing is just not I'm gonna move Arden up because he's gonna have to take a shot too we don't want his gun being eliminated from our overwatch. arsenal so you move him up a bit. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, gonna trigger some overwatches. And goes once again. Just come through. And not only you, but guess who? Good stuff. That's a wrap. Not too shabby. Okay. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. Good stuff. The AO is clear. So that's that mission. Again, mission you get to see how efficient our team is. It's just a few decisions I probably would have made differently. But honestly, I think we did a great job. I think Ghost, you got... No, you didn't. Not in this mission. Uh, Arden got injured. And then uh, Olaris got injured. But we did get a new record on the uh, enemies, or average enemies kill per turn. High successful shot percentage, which is great. Average damage per attack is also high. So I was quite excited about that. But yeah, this mission uh, went pretty good. The next mission, I will just give you a heads up. It's going to be pretty cool. I was actually very excited about the next mission. And I really was upset that I... <laughs> Did not record the voiceovers because, man, th commentating as things happen is just a whole lot better, but I'm pretty sure you guys know that already. Let's come back to base. Let's see exactly what's going on. I do believe we had a few promotions. Yes, a couple. Uh, Griffin, and Griffin, what I give you here is going to be pretty cool, as well as Issa. <clears throat> but, uh... Arden and Olsen is going to be out for a while. But 49 kills on 16 missions, but Ghost, you have 26 and only on 9 missions, by the way. I got 26 on 15 missions, but man, you're pretty efficient, Ghost. And uh, Olars is pretty darn good. Same amount of missions, one more kill than you. Uh, Arden, though. Man, this dude is... But then again, the reason why he has so many kills is he's pretty much stayed healthy. But, Griffin, you got kill zone. I was so excited to see that. Hidden ability uncovered. That's the best. I like that ability. And so I'm going to give you Ever Vigilant, I believe. Which is another godsend. So it's like you always go into Overwatch if you even... 
even if you take both moves up. So now I don't have to worry about saving a move for Overwatch. So in essence, I can use you in more of a scout capacity too if I ever need to. However, it's still a dangerous proposition because you don't have concealment or I can't put you into concealment uh, at any point in the mission. So, but at the beginning of the mission, you can come in uh, handy there. I'm going to give her a quick draw. Issa is going to get quick draw. That gives me essentially three shots per turn if I play it right. Only, of course, when I get that, uh, uh, what do you call it, lightning hands. <clears throat> so whenever that activates, which is, I think, which I think is every two turns, then I'll literally have three shots with her. That's potentially very damaging. Right. Chrysalid autopsy. Hello, Commander. Sweet. Good stuff. Plus 10 supplies. Uh, so excited. So at this point, I'm going to save my game again. Uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to run, uh, I think, and just check a few things. Outside of that, that's pretty much it. So don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and following this Let's Play. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Um, in the next video, of course, again, we're going to be <laughs> doing some of my uh, overdubbing here. But we're not too bad in the injuries there, as you can see. We have a few people coming back. Dominga. Isabel, Axis, um, and Karen. So we're doing pretty good. A lot better than before. Okay, so we just have a little bit more to go. Gonna pretty much do a little bit of management here. Uh, let's see. Supply drop. Okay. But in my, we don't need that right now. We have enough of it. We have 139 Illyrium, 156 Alloys. Not too worried about that at the moment. But, right, we need to make contact ASAP with that lower region there. Avenger plotting new oh course. man, that could have been taken into so many different you know, weird ways, but I'll just leave that alone. Okay, so supply drop. Oh, yes, definitely want to grab those. Do not think I and we got the storm time gun, time. that is correct. Is which is so amazing. We're going to need that. It's like the shotgun for the uh, rangers. Uh, and I'm gonna actually research the bean cannon, cannon, and that's gonna be for our gren grenadiers. So excited! So Ghost, you're gonna get that, making you even more deadly. You two axes, so this should be fun. I had assumed you'd right. make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Do that, uh, do that, Shire. Okay, let's head back to the map finish off these supplies which we need more importantly because we have to buy all of these guns we have some new staff available we won't need them though not yet so of course I'm thinking let's head down and let's get Australia. that what is it comm systems or let's make contact all. Yeah, because we want to do this mission here. Absolutely. So, New Australia. I'm looking for other uh, facilities. That's so loud. <laughs> I'm looking for new advent facilities that a moment ago. Um, but there are none. So, the progress of the advent project is pretty much stalled which is what we want yes is exactly what we want but of course that's about it we're about to exit here because the next video is coming and we're gonna actually do that mission I'm gonna be overdubbing that one too uh, like I did this video and then after that we'll be back to how we normally do it so stay tuned for that guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe Thank you guys so much for following me during this Let's Play. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next video.